a popular thing that we have in Patrick is building multiple sequence alignments either at the protein or nucleotide uh, level. I'm going to show you how to build a multiple sequence alignment from the protein family sorter. A very easy way, this is across 45 genomes, and there are a number of protein families here, and I'm just going to shorten it up a bit, and I'll just choose one, this guy, this epimerase dehydrase WBK. I can click on the column head to collect the entire row. Now remember, it's important when you're building a multiple sequence alignment that you choose the same thing, or it, the alignment will be pretty meaningless. So one of the good things about the protein family sorter is it's not only a visualization, it also allows you to extract the data underneath it. So we have to wait, and there are a number of things that we can do, but I want to show those proteins. I could also add them to a group, but let's click the show those proteins button. And it shows me all the information about all the genes that are there. Now, if I go, this first column is genome name. If I click the checkbox next to it, it selects all the genes in the selection. And you'll notice that the vertical green bar is now populated with choices that you can make from that. And one of these is the multiple sequence alignment. I click on that and it allows me to choose between a nucleotide and an amino acid. I prefer amino acids as they're more of them and the, it looks better. Of course, if you want to do nucleotides, you should do nucleotides. But for demonstration, I want you to have a beautiful experience. And there you go. The multiple sequence alignment tool in Patrick gives you a gene tree which this actually does a really good job at reflecting the actual phylogeny because melatensis and abortus are all very close relatives. Here's the alignment, and if you start scrolling, you can scroll across and see how strongly conserved these things are. And then across the top, this is something called web logo that's summarizing very quickly for you the data below. For example, in this column, you see the amino acid is either H or Q, and you can look down and see that this particular group, which are these genomes that are the ancestral brucella, all had this subset, all had this amino acid, and it looks like the more recent brucella have um, substituted an H for that. And so it's that simple. You can go in, you can change if I want to see the gene IDs as opposed to the genome names. You can click on that and in Patrick, this will be the identifier that tells you what the genome is. And this number after PEG is the number that tells you the gene number. You can also go in and this is pretty cool. You can give it different colors and recolorize the alignment. So it's kind of fun to play with. And that's what we have in Patrick for you to be able to very quickly, very easily build a multiple sequence alignment.